Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Cognosis AI. Now this is another web-based AI agent which does not use AutoGPT in its backend. It actually has its own code base and gets inspiration from products such as Baby AGI and AutoGPT. Before I get started, there's two things I wanted to mention. The first one is that I have my newsletter coming up. The link is added to the first comment of my video. I'm still working on the actual contents of the newsletter, which I'm going to tell you in the upcoming videos. But what's important to note here is that my newsletter will actually not be generated by AI. It's actually going to be the exact opposite. It's going to include hand-drawn AI workflows that I create for myself, and you can benefit from them as well. The next thing I wanted to talk about is a bunch of misconceptions I think people have when they think about web-based AI agents. What you need to to understand is an AI agent does not do an automated workflow for you. It's still going to do the research and strategy for the goals that you provide really well, but it will not execute the tasks. If you set the goal as build a website, I don't think at the current state it's going to do the website building for you. And even if it did have the ability to build your website for you, would you let it access your domain name service or your hosting login? And I think that can get kind of unsafe. So at the current stage of AI agents, even if it's on the browser, it's still mostly for research and strategy. Think of it like a more advanced version of ChatGPT, where you can get responses for your questions, but it's not going to do the actual execution for you, and it's probably better that way for now. All right, now let's get started on Cognosis AI. The first thing I wanted to mention here is this is not using AutoGPT, so this is not an open source project. You don't have access to its models or its code. All you do is have access to a front end where you can input an objective. This is where you define the goal, add any optional tasks that you want it to complete, and then receive the results. So like I mentioned in the misconceptions, this is only going to do the research work for you. Instead of having to go through Google and YouTube and a bunch of different kinds of websites, it's going to obtain the task results in various formats, such as code or tables or organized text that you can copy and download as a PDF. So it's important to have your expectations straight before using any AI agents. Some other things I wanted to mention here is that it does not utilize any instances of AutoGPT or Baby AGI. And it's also limited to using GPT 3.5 for any of the task execution and logical processing. And you might be wondering whether you need to use your own OpenAI key. They offer the flexibility of using your own key or leveraging theirs for your convenience. So at this time, you don't need to provide your own OpenAI key. I'm sure just like God Mode Space, if the usage goes up too high, they're going to require you to provide your own key. But at this time, you can proceed with this without needing an OpenAI key. All right, now that you have the basics covered, all you need to do is to click on this button on the top called Head to App, and that opens up the interface to access the agent. So the interface looks very similar to Agent GPT and slightly better than God Mode Space. It does have a place here on the top called Agent History. Here you can access the history of all the AI agents you ever create and all the research that it has done. Next is the place to provide the name of your agent and the actual objective or the goal. So right now, now, as you might know, GPD 3.5 has data up to 2021 and Cognosis adds this extra feature where you can use that along with the internet if you turn this on. The next section here is the automatic tasks. So based on your objective, it's going to generate at least three tasks that it thinks is relevant. On the right, there's a place you can see all the currently executing tasks and all the tasks that have been completed for you to download. And on the bottom, it mentions again that this is limited to GPD 3.5. All right, for Cognosis AI, I'm going to keep the goal the same as what I did in my last two videos so you can compare with agent GPT or auto GPT locally this will help me do research on how to build my newsletter like I mentioned I'm gonna call the objective as help me build my AI newsletter and scale it to 100,000 users and I'm gonna click start as you see in the middle, it has started to think. I think it's coming up with the initial tasks right now. All right, it has started generating some tasks. The first one I see here is strategies for scaling my newsletter to 100,000 subscribers. The next one is best practices for building an AI-focused newsletter. As you see, it's starting by doing a search online for strategies to scale my newsletter. It's browsing a bunch of URLs. It has completed browsing, and it has come up with these relevant links. It says it has completed browsing. It's thinking again. It marked 
one task is complete, it's working on the next one with some more URLs, doing some more browsing, thinking and browsing. It says it has done browsing and it's summarizing the results. So it has added a list of all the URLs it has browsed through and what it came up with. And I can't really read anything on the right here. For example, for URL 2, it says the article discusses effective I think this word is tactics and I can't really go on the right. So there's an issue with the web design maybe. And it has listed all the links that it found on that URL. But maybe that's because I'm not supposed to be reading all the details of its browsing here. I'm supposed to click on this button right here and read it from the text file that it's generate. So let's do that. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to say testing. AI and it downloaded the file. All right, I have summaries of all the URLs that it went through and all the relevant links that it found. From the first impressions, this looks like more of summaries of different URLs. Let's see if it came up with any specific inferences based on reading those articles. This one says the article emphasizes the importance of building a high quality email list. To do so, the article suggests offering incentives and also highlights the benefits of newsletter for brand awareness and customer conversion. The next one says this article discusses ways to improve the newsletter content and suggests creating hyper relevant and valuable content. So that's kind of vague. I'm not sure if that helps me out in any specific way for my AI newsletter. Okay, so this one might be more relevant. So this article highlights 10 interesting and insightful AI newsletters for people to subscribe and keep up to date with all things AI. Newsletter covers a wide range of topics such as AI strategy, machine learning, AR and VR, data analytics, and AI applications. So this is definitely relevant to me because I can study those specific newsletters and see if I can apply one of their strategies. This one says AIartists.org provides resources for those interested in AI generated art. Okay, so this one says this article discusses the importance of having an effective email newsletter strategy. These include a welcome campaign, personalized content, using catchy subject lines, providing valuable content, using calls to action, segmenting your audience, using automation, testing and analyzing your campaigns, optimizing for mobile, and cleaning your list regularly. Okay, so till now, what I've seen is Cognosis does kind of effective summarization of different things of the internet. So let me try something which is more on the practical side versus pure research. Build the landing page of my newsletter using TypeScript and React.js and see if it can do any coding for me or it just sends me more links. So I'm going to keep everything the same and click start. All right, the tasks it's coming up with is TypeScript and React.js tutorials, best practices for designing newsletter landing pages. So this is definitely more on the research side. It's kind of helping me do effective research instead of me going to the websites myself. It's scouring the internet itself and summarizing the relevant content. I wonder if I remove this search mode, it's going to stop browsing URLs like this. Because right now, this appears to be more of a URL summarization tool versus an AI agent. All I see are more websites being summarized. So I'm going to stop this agent for a second and remove the search mode. And now I see it has enabled this section where I can add my own tasks. So I'm going to do build a home page for my portfolio at that task. I'm going to say build a contact form. And the last one I'm going to say build a payment page where I can maybe charge people for services. So these are things that needs execution or more of code generation of some kind for me to use or maybe reuse for my own purposes. I want to see if Cognosis comes up with actual code at all or it does more research. I'm going to name this landing page GPT and click create new agent. And after that, I click start. Okay, it says research and gather information on best practices for building a landing page, generate a list of necessary components and features, 
create a detailed plan for development process, including timelines for each task. Again, I feel like it's giving me information versus doing any tasks. So I'm not super happy with that. And again, this was a test of Cognosis and I'm still figuring out how it works. So this might be better for text-based research. I still haven't had it generate any code for me. I don't know if that is by design and it's a restriction or this is more of a research tool. But right now it's telling me all the things that needs to be done, like requirement gathering and design. This feels to me like a product manager giving me tickets on what needs to be done, but the developer still has to write the code. Product manager does not do the actual implementation. This is like a web version of a product manager coming up with all things that are necessary to build the website, but I haven't seen it do the developer work. But as far as I know, GPT 3.5 is still capable of generating simple pieces of code like for my landing page or for my contact form. For some reason, I cannot access that functionality using Cognosis and it has already given up and it says task complete and the system is shutting down. And it has marked this task as complete saying my research has been done. I I've made a list of things that needs to be done and create a plan of the development process. So this was kind of not what I asked here. I wanted it to make the homepage and the contact form and the payment page. And all it did was to do some more research on what needs to be done. So I'm not super impressed by Cognosis, but maybe I'm not using it the proper way. If you were to do a research paper, maybe this would be more useful. But for actual execution of code, this might not be the best tool for you. But again, this tool is still in beta and I think more improvements will come along in the future. For now, that's all I have for you in this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click like and subscribe to my channel and my newsletter. Till my next video, thank you so much.